Another capsize and the sacking of New Zealand skipper Phil Robertson emphasized the high stakes in Sail GP's season finale in San Francisco. Robertson, who has been named to take charge of New Entry Canada in Season 3 which starts in Bermuda in May, was sensationally sacked by Spain on the eve of the Californian regatta. He will be replaced at the wheel by Barcelona native Jordi Zama for this weekend and all future events. It seems Robertson's high expectations and leadership style didn't sit well with the Spanish team. Asterisk Kiwi Phil Robertson gets prime sail GP gig with Canada. Asterisk Jimmy Spithill's US Sail GP team capsizes six days ahead of $1 million race. The thing is that Phil, he feels he is superior in some sort of way, and that they, the crew, are kids. In fact, in one of the episodes of Racing on the Edge, he was calling them a bunch of kids, said Spain Sail GP team CEO Maria Del Mar de Raz. Maybe if he felt more cohesion with the rest of the team, the decision would have been a bit different. We love having a Spanish team, because the purpose of the team has always been to develop youth, the sailing industry, and Spain. But, of course, we have to focus on performance as well, and this race is going to be a special one. SAILGP YouTube Robertson enhances his reputation as the go-to sailor. Robertson didn't back away from the progress he made with Spain who sit fourth on the points table. We took this team from zero experience to somewhere near the top of the leaderboard, and unfortunately the team has decided that they want to focus on next year and move on. Meanwhile, defending Sail GP champion Team Australia capsized its foiling 50-foot catamaran on San Francisco Bay, doing major damage to its high-tech wing sail on TH Eve of the Global League's $1 million US dollars winner-take-all season title race. The capsize by skipper Tom Slingsby's crew came three days after another title contender, Jimmy Spithill's Team USA, capsized while training off Alcatraz Island. Australia, the season points leader, and the United States have qualified for Monday's $1 million championship race, the finale of the Mubadala United States Grand Prix. The third finalist will be determined during fleet racing. The Australian boat, nicknamed the Flying Roo for the yellow kangaroo on the wing sail, pitchpoled, with the right hull digging into the water and carrying the catamaran over onto its side. It came to a rest with its starboard hull and the tip of the wing sail in the water. The port hull was suspended in the air, with some of the crew in the cockpit. The team said there were no injuries. Slingsby said the capsize came at the end of a training session, when a gust of wind hit the boat while it was doing a tack bear away manoeuvre. He said the crew felt in control and wasn't sure what it did wrong, but called it an unforced error. We've done 20 of those manoeuvres in the last few days with no issues. It was all going well until it wasn't, Slingsby said. We're a little unsure but obviously upset that we've done so much damage to the boat. The wing sails look and perform like an airplane wing, helping power the F-50 cats to close to freeway speeds as they skim above the waves on hydrofoils. Slingsby said several of the wing sails frames are broken and the flaps are quite damaged, he said the shore crew could have some long nights rebuilding the wing. Slingsby capsized the US boat during training before the season opening regatta in Bermuda when the Aussie boat was still being set up. This is the first time in two seasons he has capsized the flying row. It's disappointing. It's not the preparation we wanted and we don't want to create work for anyone, he said. Unfortunately there's going to be a lot of people having late nights working through the night to try to get us ready. It's not what we want but we know there's amazing people who are going to help us get back on the water. Slingsby thinks the Ossers will be okay to race in Sunday's three fleet races. However, he said there could be water damage to various systems that won't be apparent until the boat is racing, so he hopes to be able to practice before racing. There will be two more fleet races Monday before the 1 million US dollar finale. Slingsby is an Olympic gold medalist and was strategist for Spithill when Oracle Team USA staged a stunning rally to win the 2013 America's Cup on San Francisco Bay. The Aussie skipper beat Team Japan's Nathan Outridge in for the inaugural season championship in 2019 and the 1 million US dollar prize. Outridge and Team Spain have the best chances of clinching the third spot in the podium race. With AP, 